Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to the channel you know it's a boy and making and today i'm going to be doing part 17 of what if naruto went with itachi hope you guys enjoy and get this one to 100 likes as usual and you'll be getting the next part as soon as possible comment down below and tell me what you think of this episode remember to share to all of your friends on your social media platform and thank you all for your support and the new subscribers and for liking the video so yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. Play the intro. Last time we left off, Sasuke won his fight in the finals and it's time for Naruto and Naruto was taking on Gara. as Naruto found out that Gara's ultimate defense sand shield was pretty strong but with his speed he can get through it as quickly as possible. So if you're new just switch across the playlist and check out all the other parts and trust me it's very interesting so let's get straight into this part. We start this episode with continue of the fight between Naruto and Gaara as everyone then looked up to see Naruto on the top of the stadium wall. A huge smirk on his face and his arms cross over his chest as he send shadow clones down to fight Gaara but Gaara keeps slaughtering them. Naruto then made the clones mess with Gaara as they shout at him over here, no I'm over here as Garo was getting confused and really really angry sending out his sand all over the arena. Now this is what I call entertainment said Naruto as Gara didn't see Naruto at the moment as Naruto was standing on top of the stadium wall. Some of the ninjas and the people in the crowd saw him but Gara didn't saw him as he was too busy crushing Naruto's clones. I guess it's time to end this once and for all said Naruto as he uncrossed his arms as Naruto then started to gather chakra to his arms. Kakashi and Guy's eyes widen as they watch Naruto as Naruto is performing the same move that Sasuke performed earlier, the Shidori. Did you teach him that too? Guy asks. No, said Kakashi. I didn't teach him anything over the month. I only taught Sasuke. In fact, I only think that he just saw it when Sasuke used it in his earlier match against Neji. That was his first time seeing it, Kakashi said with amazement. Naruto was able to use the Shidori after seeing it once. But Kakashi wondered if Naruto could hit his target. Now he will see what Naruto is truly made of. Sasuke eyes widened as he watched Naruto create the Shidori on his first try. He couldn't believe it. Did Kakashi teach him? Or did Naruto learn it on his own? Or did he spy on me and Kakashi when you we were training? How the hell did he learn that? Said Sasuke in confusion and a bit angry because it took him a long time to do this Shidori and Naruto just did it with ease. No, Naruto wouldn't be so low as to watch his own teammate train and steal his technique. But then how? How did Naruto copy my move so fast? Said Sasuke with that little amount of time. Gar was getting furious and looking around again. The clones were able to dodge his sand and attack him furiously, hitting him right in the stomach and punching him in the face. His sand armor wouldn't last much longer and mother was screaming for him to kill to get the sweet blood of his opponent on the sand to crush them alive. As Gara was crushing the clones, water then rained down at him as Gara looked up as he heard the chirping sound. As the sun was right behind Naruto, he squinted his eyes. That was the same attack the Uchiha used in his last match. Gara thought, 
He wasn't sure what it was called, but he knew of it. He had seen the speed and the power behind that attack. Even if it hadn't hit a target, it was dangerous. That was all that Gara knew. As his sand was soaked from Naruto raining down water on him, all the clones then dispel. You fool! You just dispel all of your clones. Now I can focus on you, said Gara. As Gara then here poof, poof, behind him, as he turned around to see about 50 clones as they all jumped on him and tear off the wet sand as they grab onto his real skin and his clothes holding him down as the sand still covered his feet. Sand stopped right at his midsection and it was still soaking wet. So once the lightning connected with it, you know electricity and water do not mix. Gara's eyes then widened as he saw Naruto run down the wall as the wall was being teared out underneath him as Naruto was coming down at an incredible speed and force. When Naruto was two feet away, Gara decided to use the sand under Naruto's feet as he struggled to try and lift it. Naruto flipped over as he then pushed his hand right through Gara's shoulder, making Gara scream in pain and agony as the blood flow. All of Naruto clones then dispel as Gara then fell to his knees in a limp. In his unconscious state, Naruto had won and as soon as he done that, everything went to hell. Orochimaru who was disguised as the Kazekage gave the signal for Kabuto to use the sleeping genjutsu on most of the Konoha ninjas as Orochimaru sound 4 created a barrier around him and the Hokage. They all stood at the four pillar barrier holding the shield up and protecting themselves at the same time. I finally got you in the perfect situation, said Orochimaru as he let out an insane laugh as the third Kage then tore off his rope to reveal that he got his battle armor on. Well, let's see who got who in the perfect situation, said the third Kage as him and Orochimaru start off their deadly battle. Meanwhile with Naruto, as Naruto knocked out Gaara, he should have known that Gaara in his unconscious state revealed the Shikaku as Naruto dodged a sand tail coming towards him. Naruto was here with Sasuke and Sakura as they tried to take Gaara out inside of the arena. All of the civilians has been awakened from the Genjutsu and moved to safety. Sasuke head to the left, Sakura Head to the right, I will take him on, Naruto ordered as they all move in, format around Gara. Sasuke, Shidori now, said Naruto, as Sasuke obliged and make a Shidori right away. Sakura, use your strongest genjutsu, said Naruto. Sakura nodded as she ran through some hand signs as Naruto used his water jutsu to quell the sand as much as possible. When Sakura finished her genjutsu, Shikaku could tell what is what. All the colors merged together and the shape merged into one and he couldn't tell what was what. Her genjutsu was really strong after Naruto been teaching her. A little thing on the side about genjutsu. And she also learned a lot more from Kurunai Sensei. She had a whole month. So she is strong enough to wield a huge genjutsu to put even the shikaku under it. Not kind of a genjutsu like Madara to control him, but to blur his vision for the meanwhile so they could attack him and finish him off. Shikaku was soaked as he could feel some of his sand falling away and then he felt burning pain as the shidori mixed with the water engulfed his sand hurting him. Naruto smirked as he watched Sasuke Shidori burn through Shikaku's sand decimating him with the water combined. But Naruto's smirk soon turned into a frown as he saw Shikaku regain his sand as it looked brand new as Naruto could see Shikaku planning for his next move as Naruto shouted at Sasuke and Sakura Get away now, said Naruto as the both of them obliged, seeing the seriousness on Naruto's face. 
as the both of them then went to help Kakashi. That is 32, Kakashi said as he took out another sand ninja. I've got 31, said Guy. All the genin were fighting best they could. Hinata moving a little slower but still going. Kiba using his fangs next to Akamaru, beating a lot of the sound and the sand ninjas because most of them were rookies and not so strong. Bring it on, said Naruto as Shikaku then created white spears as a sand golfed in the middle, creating a sand shuriken as he launched them straight at Naruto as Naruto dodged almost all of them. Is that all you've got, said Naruto as he jumped back. Naruto realized that Gara was on Shikaku's forehead for a while now and he realized that Shikaku is not doing anything or putting any sand defense in front of him. So he is open for attack. A grin came on Naruto's face as a plan popped into his head. Shikaku bounced around as he tried to swipe Naruto down. He was surprised that the fox has been sealed into a child as well. But it seems like this boy has more control over the fox, making Shikaku's freedom more happier so he can destroy the Kayubi the Nine Tails and the boy as well. He didn't get to tease the fox very often about being weak. Now he could, since the fox was being controlled by this little boy and it was never hard for him to squash a puny human. And with that thought in mind, Shikaku followed the brat as he tried to escape through the forest as he trampled down on every tree in his way. As Naruto was running at full speed, Shikaku never knew that a human can move this fast but with his demonic eyes he could keep up with the brat. They were about a mile from the arena when the boy suddenly stopped. Shikaku didn't know what to think of this. But when he feel an incredible powerful chakra starting to be pushed within the boy and then the boy started to run through hand seals, he started to worry. The boy then bit his thumb as he slammed his hand on the ground creating a huge puff of smoke. Shikako's eyes widened when he saw the giant toad in front of him smoking a pipe. So this was your plan all along to get me away from the village so you could summon this giant stupid toad said Shikaku. Ha huh, I guess you're the dumb one said Naruto. I lead you away from the village because you thought that I was scared of you and now you have to fight my chief summon. Now Naruto stood on his summon ready to fight head on. What do you want squirt? Gamabunta asked as he looked up at Naruto. Naruto looked down at Gamabunta and said, look forward, as the toad then glanced up as he saw Shikaku, well isn't this just great, Gamabunta said, as Naruto couldn't believe that the chief summon was complaining like this. It was ridiculous after all, but for now Naruto would just have to deal because he needed help to defeat the one tailed Shikaku. Just get me in close, I will do a hench jutsu on you so you will have fangs and claws, Naruto said as he ran through some hand signs as Gamabunta nodded as he dashed forward, Naruto then sent a large mount of chakra right to Gamabunta's back as Naruto then said transformation jutsu. Suddenly a huge puff of smoke appeared and the giant nine tail appears as Shikaku was scared, he couldn't believe that the nine tail emerged like this. As the fox sinked his teeth into the one tail shoulder, you are not the real nine tails, said Shikaku as he tried to pry the nine tail's mouth off of him. Now it's my turn, said Naruto as he jumped on the sand demon's head, running with full speed as a sand created a spike tried to stop him. Naruto flipped over them as he then clenched his fist and fist Gara right in the face, knocking him, trying to wake the unconscious Gara up. But Gara was still asleep as Naruto then punched him once more. Wake the hell up, said Naruto as he continued to deliver punches to Gara's face. 
No, said Shikaku as he raised a giant hand to slam down on Naruto, but it was too late as Gara finally opened his eyes. As Shikaku could feel himself being withdrawn into the boy, Gara looked around really quickly before his gaze landed on Naruto, who still stood in front of him. As he then took a big gulp as he saw Naruto raise his fist in the air. Now, take this, said Naruto. But Gara then smirked as he used the sand of Shikaku to wrap around Naruto's arm and one of Naruto's legs as he used it to tear the skin straight off Naruto, just remaining bones and muscle as Naruto's hand and his leg was bleeding heavily. As Naruto cried out in pain as Gara stood in front of him with a smirk on his face, as Naruto could feel his eyes ready to be blocked out and go unconscious because of the pain, Naruto then got a pick me up as he saw a heavy water blast blast Gara right head on and pushing and tearing the sand off of Naruto as Naruto fell down as Gamabunta managed to catch Naruto before he dropped to the ground. After that, Naruto's skin started to heal as it didn't heal completely but enough to allow him not to bleed to death. Naruto then was thrust off of Gamabunta as he was slammed into a tree as Gamabunta was hit with lots of sand bullets. As Naruto managed to get back up to his feet as the frog then grabbed him and hold him into his arm as Naruto said this guy is really trouble just get me closer and I'll take care of him said Naruto as he then started to infuse himself with red chakra as his vest was torn open and his headband was blown off as Gara then sent sand bullets towards the frog again but the frog countered them with water bullets of his own it took seven minutes and several flips before the frog got closer to allow Naruto to leap off and go onto Gara. Gara still is using the sand as a giant pillar as he stood on it. The one piece Shikaku wasn't talking or doing anything anymore, but Gara still has the ability to move the sand. It didn't crumble. Naruto then flipped on the one tail's head as he dodged some sand bullet and flipped over as Gara then made hands extended from the one tails and wrapped around Naruto. Naruto pushed forward as Naruto ripped them off as Naruto then slammed his forehead right into Gara's as blood started to leak as Naruto grabbed Gara by the throat and was going down the ground with him as a huge explosion the both of them slammed down Gara taking more of the force as Naruto was on top of him as the dust managed to clear away. The one tail's body was no more as the sand then faded down to the ground. Kamabunta soon disappeared as well as he then vanished went back to the toad world as Naruto was sitting on top of Gara, as he then clenched his fist and slammed it into Gara's face as Gara coughed out pure blood. As Gara then thrust his hand into Naruto's stomach pushing Naruto off of him as Gara managed to use the sand behind him to push himself back up as he got to his two feet as Naruto clenched his fist as he said let's end this as Gara face get pure anger as the both of them rushed at each other back with Sakura and Sasuke the both of them watch as the barrier disappear and the auto and some of the sand ninjas flee. Both of them were exhausted after using so much chakra and they both as minor injuries all over their body after fighting so much sand and sound ninja. The both of them were worried for Naruto who had led Shikaku away so he could fight him in the forest so the village wouldn't be destroyed. Kakashi was now out looking for Naruto. The both of them sat on the ground waiting for the two to return. They were both happy when they saw Kakashi carrying out Naruto in his arm but both of them then got worried as they saw the amount of blood on Naruto. 
His vest and his shirt was ripped off, his headband was missing, and his shorts were teared as well. Don't worry, he's alive, said Kakashi as he then brought Naruto up to the two to see Naruto still breathing. What about the sand brat? I got there the same time as his subordinates and I took Naruto and they took him. But I do not know the conditions that he's in. But guys, I'm going to be ending this episode right here. If you enjoyed this episode, comment down below and tell me what you think of it. Remember to share it to all your friends on your social media platform. But yeah guys, for now, I'm out. Peace.